falling on my own without the clue, without a sign, without grasping it. The real question to be asked: How far do I'm a shadow? Oh! At ghost masquerade, hiding both face and mind. Free for you to draw. There's no way. I'm a chef. What else should I do? Please don't take off my mouth. With you. Are you sure this isn't just water? If you're trying to rip me off, I'm gonna reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Oh, it's you! Please, have a seat. So, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Or maybe you're just falling in love with me, hmm? to tell me? Thank God. My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. Man, this will really help me out. Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Ah, oh, don't be such a killjoy. These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. Besides, what's most important? is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? Huh? <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. As if. What do you want? Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kaneshiro, right? Well, he got arrested soon after. So don't think that I can't put two and two together. Something's fishy. Support the Phantom Thieves? But I see what's going on here. Hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy, huh? Hey, I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. A vacation? Oh, <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. Deal? All right then, it's a deal. I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops.
Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the devil persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Oh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. Okay, Lala-chan! Time to celebrate our agreement! Bring out my bottle! And two glasses, please! Oh, come on, please! Whoa, her silence is golden. Fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh. I gotta use the bathroom. Ah, oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. You should go home. Let us be off.
snow. <laughs> um. Ah, you're back. That'd 
be helpful. All right. So humid. Too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I don't got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. Ah, oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We... we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we... getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Ratio of gas to girls is off, but uh, we can do something about that later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well. I no, th th that's... You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty!
Come on. Looks like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Mm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. I need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. Festival's been canceled. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? So that's what makes us cool? To be honest, I'm not a fan. I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't gonna find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. So you won't tell me, no matter what? I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to... Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet! It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. The Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? What are they stealing, though? I'm still having trouble getting that part. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime.
Tell me. Yep, yep. Okay, quiet down. Hmm. 
Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold, or quite foolish. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. buzzing earlier. Who is this? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Shouldn't you respond to it? this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat log. How careless of us. How would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person Mejet? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. 
The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah, so somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? I don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by, in case anything comes up. Oh, dear.
gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's Boss's last name! Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster, just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. What's up? Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit.
You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. <laughs> You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee.
and stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? This doesn't involve you. That's enough! Just behave yourself. Keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Mm, the existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation, though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Hey! A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, we need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. to do about this we'd be able to figure out alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him try asking him if there's any way we could meet up he can't go out down this doesn't make any sense not only can Alibaba not go out but he won't let us meet Futaba either well it's none of our business now we can't contact him anymore but what do we do about Medjed we won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now maybe they were just pranking us they made that huge declaration but they ain't done nothing since <laughs> I bet we got him freaked out you mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kanashiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got... 150,000 yen out of it! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut! Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi! 
You're okay with that too, right? Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Let's do it. <laughs> 